teaching a new concept to kindergarten children has always been a challenge and with this lockdown it has become more difficult to engage them virtually yes what we do the puppets we come to your rescue but remember that the puppets should be such that they are fun to use and enjoyable so how do we do that let's find out to make such easy puppets with the bare minimum things what all will you need a plastic ball a cutter some googly eyes a sketch pen scissor fabric cord and a small tube of fabric bond a few pieces of paper marble paper would be preferred because it sticks very easily on the plastic and some wool to fix the arms we need little rubber bands take the center of the ball and puncture a hole here i'm using my cutter here now what is important here that your index finger has to fit comfortably in this not tight but a little loose so accordingly adjust the hole so here is my ball and uh, i have to find out two center points and fix the eyes so with the help of a small sketch pen i mark two points now with the help of a fevi bond now fevi bond would be helpful here you can use fevicol also i'm going to stick the two googly eyes now as it dries up it's time we cut out its mouth now we have here a little miss happy here so we can have a miss surprised here i could take any marble paper like a green color which could be seen on her or a yellow and cut it in this round shape to show a surprise mouth now the next thing that we need are two eyebrows now time to fix the hair so basically i have made hair from wool and i've got to fix it here for fixing it i need to use fevi bond if you don't have fevi bond you can use fevi cord her hair is done once your hair is done the next thing is you need to give it a body for the body any piece of cloth would be all right i have two options i have a scarf and i also have a gents hanky i think most of us have a big size hanky at home open it up so i place my index finger in the middle of the handkerchief here and i fix my head on this properly it has to be pretty tight that's why remember i had told you to keep the hole a little bigger because with the cloth it could get a little uncomfortable if the hole is snug so keep the hole a little bigger once you're done with this 
Now the next thing you need to do is the next finger, that is your middle finger, becomes your one hand and the thumb becomes your other hand. The rest two fingers have to be folded. So fold them. Push in the cloth and fix a small elastic or a rubber band here. Like this. Similarly for the other hand, push in a little bit of cloth. Don't keep it tight, then you will not be able to show motion. So you just push in a little bit of cloth like this with your finger. Nicely gather the cloth. Take a small band and fix it around. So now your puppet is alive. Wow! I'm alive! And I'm surprised! Do you know what's my name? Oh! It's surprise! I have a small necklace like this, a hairband, or if you have old rakis, you just put it here and you place her head and ta-da! She's all ready for the party. I use a bottle cap. Each of us has a bottle cap at home. Now remember, the bottle cap is wider. So now, the principle of two fingers is what we are going to apply. So now, your thumb stays as one arm. Your two fingers become the head and the other two fingers become the other hand. So let's do this now. So our one arm is set already here. And I fix the bottle cap on two of my fingers now. You can see this, right? Now I have to fix the band on the other two fingers. So here it goes. I'm Mr. Grumpy and I am angry. Where is my head? Where is my head? In the beginning of my tutorial, you saw a lady, a teacher, which was made using just papers and cardboards. Look at her carefully, it's very easy. If you would like to know how she has been made using just cardboards, and cereal boxes. Do watch out for the space for the next video.